Oh, good counter. Yes, sir. Yeah. For me, you cut me deep and let me bleed. You know that you're not best for me. You took all of my energy. Huh? Ah, ah. Why? Ah. You took my heart and let me bleed. I thought you'd be the best for me. Huh? Ah. One lucky fan, Liv Morgan, you only live once. Everyone has a favorite celebrity. Whether you admire a movie star, an athlete, an influencer, or a musician, we all appreciate a recognizable face. If we are a fan of that person and they are partnering with a company for a sweepstakes or contest, we'll probably pay attention. Contest. I'm offering the experience of a lifetime to one lucky fan. Due to the coronavirus, sports are currently unallowed to have fans into the arenas. My team and I are giving you and one other person a chance to meet me and even watch my next match live. Yo, that sounds awesome. There's just one issue. I'm not funny and I have zero talent. Hey man, don't talk about yourself that way. You have what it takes. But I'm just a Liv Morgan simp that doesn't even watch wrestling. Got the opportunity here. You have a chance to meet Liv Morgan, the second sexiest female in all of the WWE. Who's the first? Peyton Royce. Make the video, show off your swag, and then win her over. Just remember that you only get one chance to make a first impression. What is going on, every swag here pack? And today we got another WWE Supercar video. If you watch the intro of the video, basically that was a skit, and there actually is most likely going to be more episodes it just depends on if you guys like it or not if you think it's cringe or stupid then let me know if you actually enjoyed it and want to see what happens let me know as well down in the comment section below man honestly it was kind of fun to make and i want to add on to it if you guys enjoy them i'll go more in depth and try to make them better as well i didn't have much time i love to keep working on it but if you guys want to see it, just let me know It's a lot of fun to make but without further ado, we actually are going to be talking about Royal Rumble today. First, though, let's take a look at King of the Ring. So we are in a Game 7 in the championship. Let's see if my opponent energized in Game 6. They are not fully charged. To our advantage, it's... What time is it right now? It's 11.52. So yeah, uh, my, yeah, definitely to my advantage for sure. I mean, when you're getting up at 7 in the morning and going to sleep at like 1 or 2 a.m., you're practically always up, and even in the span that you're not, it's you don't have to charge. I mean, if you're in an elemental, like, plus-plus king of the ring, I'd imagine that it's going to be sweaty, but for mine, it's not even that bad, so... I'm not sure if any of you are struggling with Royal Rumble. I was. I was also struggling with Elimination Chamber. I asked around my team, and they would have helped me out, so... Here's what I do. Now, I put in... My two best cards, Batista and Matt Riddle. They're in the momentum slots, and then the rest of the cards are beast. This is because if you have one of these two cards out there, they're unbeatable, obviously, by beast cards. So every time the opponent, which is usually an AI, every time they throw out a card, it won't beat the elemental card. So it's free wins. And also, you get more points by the more rounds that you win so if you win 16 to 0 you're gonna get over 100 points compared to if you win by one so we're gonna get into a game now does this win 100 percent of the time no of course not i don't think there's a way to win 100 percent of the time i mean maybe if you have a really good team you could just throw them all out there but this is going to win the majority of the time let's see how we do in these games so right off the rip we get batista so we practically now it's 100 percent unless this is a real player we're going to win this game. The AIs are just going to keep throwing out the Beast card. We'll be fine. Now, there has been a few times where I had played a real player, and they throw out their Elemental Pro, and I just can't beat it. I have come back. But usually, it's going to take four, five, maybe even six tries just to get one of your cards out to beat that. So, that makes it pretty much almost impossible to beat. Now, I'm not big on Royal Rumble just because it, the games are so long. Now, yes, you get a good amount of picks, 
I just don't like sitting through the games. And yes, I do play real, uh, AIs the majority of the time, but actually, like this is the first time I've been going against real players. Usually, like in War or Elimination Chamber, it was AIs like ninety percent of the time. Now it's it feels like it's maybe like sixty percent AIs, forty percent real players, which is frustrating because a lot of the guys are aren't putting out cards fast now this maybe i'm wrong maybe this isn't ai i just feel like it's not you look look at their speeds so like one two three i mean it's relatively consistent it looks like every three to four seconds they're putting a card out so let's take a look one two three so yeah maybe this isn't ai and i'm bugging out now if this continues to work which i anticipate it will then this is going to be great for team battleground which we're going to get into in a little bit there are, there's still, like, a few videos that I want to make, of course. So, like, I want to talk about tickets. I want to talk about the PvP packs that I opened up. Now, we're getting a new tier, I want to say, in a week. So, for me to go out and drop 8,000 PvP points on packs was relatively absurd. Because if you think about it this way, next week, the packs that I were opening, you cannot get Royal Rumbles. Now, someone mentioned that below. I didn't just come up with it. They commented it down below and said that I could have waited a week and I would have had... WrestleMania 36 cards and up. Now think about that. Every pack that I opened up, the worst possibility would have been in a WrestleMania 36. There was one pack where I got four of the four were Royal Rumbles. Now imagine if those four were WrestleMania 36 cards. I mean, a guy that's in almost an Elemental Plus. Now I said I was an Elemental Plus. It's down to Elemental. Maybe that's just like a momentum thing. But regardless, it says that I'm in Elemental. There's a 16 point win, by the way, 108 points. So WrestleMania 36 cards, I don't care who it is, whom it is, that is going to be good for my deck. There's just no question about it. So I should have waited. At the same time, though, I just need better cards. I really needed those PvP packs because my team just needs more depth. It was a fun video to do. So it's not the end of the world. Now I have a ton of tickets. To be precise, I have 261. So these will all be used on the packs that are going to be changed or updated when the new tier comes out so there's a milk pull which is cool so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun uh of course uh, i have to work at like in the morning like really early tomorrow morning i'm actually filming around midnight it's like i think yeah you guys have the time it's like midnight right now so that's this is one of the latest i made a video that's because during the day when i was working on the channel it was going towards that live video now it didn't take me that long to make the live video but it did take i'd say it took me probably like two hours it seems like it was just like a little stupid skit which i mean it is at the end of the day but i just uh, i mean m most of the stuff you guys didn't even see like the time that i put into the video you guys didn't even see so we will get into that i did record the the video so if you did watch that in the end, I said that, like, yeah, I was entering a contest to meet Liv, and I had to make a video to submit it, so I did make that. I didn't put it in the video, though, because if you guys want to see the rest, then I'll drop that in the next one. So just let me know as well. I don't think there's much of a need for me to play any more Royal Rumble games. I just went 16 to nothing, and I think you guys have the concept. I'm sure most of you don't even really need the help, but if you do, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I did as well. A lot of you guys, I'm sure, are just watching it just is important because you like the video, so that's cool as well. Uh, Wild Wednesday, I haven't been on the game that much. Oh, wait, I guess I have. I need to go undefeated in nine more wild games, which is easy, the way my deck's set up, and then I'll get one of these. Uh, I'm not going to have time to do that in this video. I'll do it when I get off, though. Team Battleground, we are up 12,980 points. They have zero. Most of them didn't charge. A few of them kind of did, but, like, they're not even playing. Shout out to my team, man. Shout out to everyone that's watching the video, guys. If you watch the the introduction let me know how you you feel about that i know there's going to be guys like i'm starting to get more views now am i getting a thousand views no of course not but i'm starting to get views from people that aren't subscribed that don't know me so my last video actually was the best supercar video i've ever put out by ratings and just by eye test i feel like it was the best video i put out and there were a few dislikes more than normal and there's nothing wrong with that there is some people going around the community that just dislike my videos because they think that i have beef with them or something i'm just living rent free in their head so they know that i'm starting to come up and starting to put out good content and get get a lot of subs so like they're they're just trying to hate which is fine but also there's going to be people that don't enjoy the videos and just dislike because maybe they got something going on in their life it, you just got to live with it man i don't make the videos for those types of people i make them for the guys that the notification squad the guys that show love no matter what like come on man my deck isn't that good my content isn't great all it's just a background with a game over it it's about me the person behind it so i'm just gonna keep putting out good videos for you guys now i really wish that i was playing this game during 
quarantine when I had like the two to three months off because now it's just like with school and work, it's honestly just a pain in the ass if I'm being real. So, and the show must go on though. Hopefully one day I can just play Supercard and have a full time job like when I get out of college and that would be good because right now, man, uh, it's not definitely not that. So, guys, I hope you have a blessed day, man. Stay thankful. Stay true. If you enjoyed the video, then show some love. Drop me a sub. I'd appreciate it, guys. Have a great rest of your night or a great rest of your day, uh, whatever time zone you are. Peace, guys. I'm out. Yeet.